Hey amigos, I know I've covered this before, but I'm doing this a different way, so I thought I'd cover it again. Um, this is about backing up your data to an encrypted storage uh, container. Um, and I like to, nowadays, I like to use my Android phone to get that done. Now, uh, what really prompted me to do this sort of thing uh, is that a few years back, a uh, popular YouTube uh, by the name of Star Jaded, her house burned down, and her and her husband just managed to save her kid, and, uh, and, and basically they got out, and luckily the husband had some, I think a wallet in his truck or something, but basically she lost all of her paperwork, and that makes it really difficult to, uh, with no identification, makes it difficult to get a job, look for an apartment, or uh, or you can't even drive a car legally without your license. Um, so basically it was like this major rigmarole to get reestablished in life, um, in the fictitious life, the paperwork life that uh, that we all need to, uh, to basically make ends meet and work and pay taxes and drive and all that stuff, right? Well, anyway, what I like to do is I like to have an encrypted database with all of that information. I like scanned copies of my driver's license. I like to have uh, uh, scanned copies of all my insurance forms, uh, all my inventory of the house, uh, everything that I purchase that's kind of big. Uh, I scan the receipt and um, throw it in the database. And everything I buy... Um, I actually throw it into an Excel sheet, mainly just to know where the money's going. But uh, but if somebody asks me, where did you buy that? And it was like years, and instead of saying, I don't know, I could say, well, give me a second and I'll tell you exactly where I bought it and how much I paid for it. And, um, and it sort of streamlines things sometimes. Um, so, and I also back that database up. I've got a copy in my safe deposit box, I've got a copy in my toolbox at work, and I've got a couple, a copy on my Ubuntu hard drive here, and my, uh, as well as my Windows hard drive, uh, and yeah, it's, and it's of course on the phone as well. So if like, for example, a couple of days ago, I accidentally yanked the battery out of the phone when the database was still mounted, and it trashed the database. Um, I was able to then find a copy, a recent copy that I stuck on my Ubuntu desktop here, and um, and then I was able to reload it, and I lost almost no information, and I was back up and running again. But um, this is how you do it. Um, let me use this magnifying glass so you can see. Okay. This is the Lux Manager. It's a program, an encryption program, and you can do, you can mount and you can uh, create um, encrypted databases or encrypted folders, and you can put anything you want in there and it's secure, uh, depending on how big the password is. You, I mean, the bigger the password, the better. So anyway, you just hit the create button and go through the password thing and. Uh, then you've got your uh, database. Then you mount the thing. You hit the mount, select the uh, file, and then you have your database mounted. This one's mine's already mounted, so I won't bother doing that. And then once your once your encrypted folder is mounted, you can do things like oh, then you can access it on the network using this program here called Samba. And that allows your cell phone if you have an Android phone. To, um, to basically become a uh, shared folder on your network, your home network. And, of course, it's password protected. So, um, so when you log on to it the first time, you have to put in a password and a user ID and all that stuff. And that's, that's fairly straightforward. But anyway, then, once you have Samba mounted and it's, uh, and it's awake and everything, you can then go into oops. You can then go into your computer, which is 
This one here is Ubuntu. This is a operating system which is free to download and this it's a nice 64-bit uh, operating system which is capable of using the uh, pretty good uh, motherboard and, P and chip that I have in my uh, PC. Um, but I also have for other purposes I have like a Windows 7 hard drive as well and I use these little trays here uh, to basically load and you know I can like plug this hard drive in with and then hit the button within moments I've, I'm booted up under Windows and I do most most of my uh, my bill paying and things that are that I want a little bit you know and electronic bankings things that I want some security with but as far as Ubuntu goes I have flash installed and everything and I uh, this is a very it's a throwaway system. I, I could like reload this thing in seconds or in a, maybe an hour or so and I'd be back up where I'm going where I am now. But anyway, then once you have the um, the uh, database mounted and your program and uh, sharing it on on your home network, you can then go to the SD card and you have to click it a couple times sometimes because it takes a second to wake up. Won't take but a moment here. Huh. Getting there. Yeah, there you go. Basically, if you don't use it for a while, um, it takes a second for the Wi-Fi and this program to all sort of line up, and then, boom, you've got your... You've got your uh, this your cell phone. So this SD card here, it says SD card, but it's the entire cell phone. Uh, you've got also the external SD card where I keep all my uh, podcasts and uh, audio files. It's like an ultimate cure for boredom because I hook up my Bluetooth headset and I, if I have to stand in line or something or drive somewhere, um, I basically plug that headset in and I have a very interesting podcast or audio book or whatever uh, playing in my ear and I don't have to be bored. But anyway, um, then uh, this this folder here called New Finance is my, uh, is my actual encrypted folder. And on there I have like uh, just tons of things like my address book for example. For over the decades of say 15 years of surfing the internet and uh, and going to various places on the web, you know you can't possibly remember all of those passwords. Um, so basically, I just throw it all in there. And plus, I have like my resume and all of my previous jobs, when I worked where, and previous addresses where I lived, where for what time and. Um, I have all my family in there and their social security numbers and everything. Uh, that's why I keep all of that stuff highly, highly encrypted. But that, it, that information is also very important to have sometimes. Um, so basically I do feel that I need to have it, but I have, it's my responsibility to secure it very well. So anyway, also, um, if somebody in Bolivia or some meth head or something got a hold of that address book, they could go and find my uh, email programs or my email websites and email everybody in my address book saying, help, I'm stuck in Bolivia, please wire me a thousand dollars so that I can fly home, right? Um, and then basically, if you get enough people, generally there will be somebody stupid enough to actually send the money. And then I'm scrambling, trying to contact everybody I know saying not to send money to the scammer. <laughs> so basically, it's very important to keep this information, but it's also extremely important to have it very well secured. So um, so basically, yeah, so basically if I have like, if my condo burns down or something, I've got like all of my insurance paperwork, I've got scanned copies of the driver's license, I've got, I've got like, uh, birth certificate scans, I've got, uh, I've got uh, all of the purchases I've made since 2007, um, you know, mainly I did it out of curiosity. Where does the money go, I asked myself one day, and I was determined to find out, and sure enough, I found out. 
Um, but also things like when somebody says, how much did you pay for something and uh, where did you buy it? And I can then punch it up and tell them exactly where I bought it. Um, and also that purchase list, I can, if I ever lose my house or something, my my basic basically of this uh, that list of purchases, I would know what would be in the condo and what wouldn't be, and that's perfect for like uh, insurance claims and stuff like that. I could t give them a list of exactly what's in here, you know, that at least anything that I bought since 2007. So uh, now I understand that most people wouldn't get into that much detail and who knows maybe it's not really healthy to do so but uh, but basically having this information is a tool that could come in handy and it comes in handy a lot but um, but basically it's just an added layer of security sort of a backup to your information that sure could come in handy if you need it someday so that's what I do later